Now in Jagannath Aura, when you go, you see lunar year slash month. So year is Krodhi, month is Chaitra. This Krodhi year is what is Samvatsar. Okay. The year is 2024. This is Western year, right? This is Gregorian year. So 2024 is the Gregorian year. Astrology, we are not using Gregorian year as such. We are either using Vikram Samvat or we are using Sak Samvat. Vikram Samvat is named Vikram Samvat because it was started by King Vikramadit in whose code Varamir was an astrologer. And Sak Samvat, right? Current Sak Samvat is 1946. And Vikram Samvati 2081. It has some uses. One thing you understand this Samvatsaras, there is an approach of predicting the year as per the Samvatsar, right? So, whatever is the Samvatsar, whatever is the result of the Samvatsar, that is the result of the year also. Mundane astrology, that is not our concern. Predictive astrology is our concern, but still, knowledge is always good. Probably some of you can do some research. <laughs> Sorry. So, for example, the current year is Krodhi. Krodhi means angry. So, people are becoming more angry, losing their patience and all sort of things. This year will change in one year, right? But will the impact? Will the impact change in one year? Huh? It generally does not. See, 2022 is when Corona started. 2020. So before 2020, in 2019, I think by the end of 2019, one the thing happened, 2020 started. This is how it happened, right? Corona outbreak. So 2019, you see the year is Vikari. Vikari comes from the word Vikriti. Vikriti means disfiguration. Bad development, so bad development happening. But this Vikari should be the when the month is changing. Vikram Samvat begins on the first tithi of Chaitra Masha of Sukul Paksh in the month of in the month of Chaitra. On the first tithi of Sukul Paksh, Chaitra after the end of Amavasya at Chaitra Pratipada, the new year starts. This is where you do the Kalasa Sthapana for this April Navratri, this particular day. Is when the new year starts, right? This will be around the start of April, right? The month Chaitra will start somewhere in April, right? Around in, in April, it is starting. You see, so April the year will change. See, I, here I am talking about something big because see, my concept of teaching astrology is the result of Samvatsar and all of that. First of all, any Tom, Dick and Harry can teach you. And I hate doing things which anyone can do. That's first point. And when the, my time is important, I believe that. So that anyone can teach that you can know by yourself also. My purpose is to bring a new research on the table which is not presented before, right? If something is produced by someone else, they are better eligible to teach it. Why should I? Right. So the point that I am trying to make, you have to understand it in order to give you the researches and give you complete knowledge. I also have to teach the things which are given by Rashis, right? That's a necessity, not my purpose. So I'm teaching you the result of Samvatsar. That is not my purpose. That's a necessity because I want you to have complete knowledge, right? But when I am telling you, I am teaching you Samvatsar, I will teach you a research which no one have produced in 4 like 30 to 1000 years seems like. To be. Okay, since the start of Kaliga, we have not completed for like 30 to 1000 years for that matter. So, the year, the Saksamvat will commence with the solar ingress in the Rashi of Aries. This will happen simultaneously, sometime before after. For example, Sun is entering Aries on
14th of April 2024, Sun is entering Aries. On this day, Sak Samvat should change. Okay. Vikram Samvat will begin on first Tithi of Chaitra Mas. So this Chaitra Mas is already running and the Tithi is Sukul Saptami seven days before it. The Vikram Samvat should have changed. So almost, almost in April, right? Between 1st of April to 15th of April, this happens every year. This is when you start the Hindu year. You know, someone also told me, sir, you say Happy New Year two, three years ago. Someone was like, sir, you post Happy New Year on 1st January. Why not on the Vaidik Hindu year? So I asked him, which Vaidik Hindu year, friend? Sak Samvat, Vikram Samvat, Fasli Samvat, Jiri Samvat, which one you want me to follow? Probably he learned from some WhatsApp university, but my point is, you see. So the basic point that I'm making is a question I'm asking you, right? The year 2020, when the Corona outbreak is happening, Sharvari, the change should have happened between 1st to 15th of April, right? The previous year, 2019, because the outbreak is happening in December, if I'm not incorrect, right? Is Vikari, right? So, you know, people went full bazaar. You see, this is Vikari Samvasar and Vikari means... Vikari comes from the word Vikriti, right? So it means disfiguration and such problems are supposed to happen, this, that. But Vikari Samvasar will repeat every 60 years, right? So in 60 years, another Corona will happen, you cannot say. Though people tried to find some, you know, some, some, some pattern between, you know, outbreak of this problem, that problem with Corona. But however, the distance is not 60 years at all. Right? Because if 60 years is the repetition time, then a person in one of his lifetime should see two major outbreak of disease. That does not happen, right? So the difference is not 60, one point. Okay. This Vikari Samvatsar is changing by April, but the result of Corona remains till 2020, 21, a little bit of 22 also. Right. Let's understand one thing once and for all. At that point of time, I was traveling very frequently in this Corona time. I was traveling very frequently to be very honest with you. So this driver guy was asking me, Ki, yeah, when this Corona, he came to know that he's a, I am an astrologer that I never tell to anyone. Anyone sitting in front of me, they will ask me what you do. I never say that I do astrology. I always say that I'm a student still learning now. Some old student I want to become. So he asked me regarding, he came to know that I'm an astrologer. The first thing was like, when the Corona will be over. And I told him one thing that you see fever, tuberculosis or any disease for that matter. At a point of time, they started fresh. The point is humans started animal husbandry. And as they started animal husbandry, the germs from animals started contaminating humans. And that's how the first disease came into being. And you see maximum problems, bird flu, etc. These comes from animals only. Animals are the cause of disease point one. But once a disease comes into being, it never goes away. So fever, tuberculosis, cholera, hay fever or any disease never disappeared. The so corona for that matter should never disappear, right? The outbreak is more, the outbreak is less. The symptoms are controlled, the symptoms are changed, right? Polio was a disease afflicting people. Medication is made. Now you get a, now you get an injection for polio in the starting and you are saved from polio. Polio have not disappeared, right? But you have, you have a strong mechanism, right? If you don't have the injection for polio, you can be afflicted by it, right? So that's the same thing. So any such in your practice, any such questions comes to you when this will be over, when that will be over in the matter of disease, they only start. They never get over at all, right? So. All this purpose of predicting when the corona will be over because many people were trying to do that. There's a statement, no, you should learn from your past. So what do you have learned from your past? If you are trying to predict corona, what do you have learned from your past? Diseases never disappear. Right? Nothing disappears. It remains there in one form or other, right? So the start. So Vikari Samvatsar, and one thing is there now. You see, over the time, 
in 90s right we the people born in 70s 80s 90s and the children born in 2000 and the children born after 2010 because i observe people very closely there is a huge difference in their nature behavior character not only as a children but also as an adult as they grow up I believe, you know, people born up to 99, 2000, they had some good morals and conducts, which nowadays students are not having. Probably it is because of the age. Right? But we were also in 10th standard at some point of time. And we know what we did. So you see this change of people, thought, thinking, right? People being more aggressive, less aggressive. These changes come, these changes stay. Right? How you time it? Is something that you have to understand. Let's do a little bit of reverse calculation. Right now, it is Sak Samvat is 1946. This I am talking about 24. Sak Samvat is 1946. You divide 4 into it. The answer will be 1942. So Sak Samvat 1942 was there when Corona outbreak happened. In fact, 42-41. If you take the Corona outbreak to be in 2019, Vikram Samvat was 2081. Four years ago, it should be 2081 before it happened. This should be 2077-78. In Vikram Samvat, 2077-78, in Sak Samvat, 1942-1941, should be the year. Now one very beautiful thing is there. This Samvat, sir, that you see, for any time, see, I have also written, subtracting 135 from Vikram Samvat, the Sak Samvat will be found. Adding 135 to Sak Samvat, Vikram Samvat, you will find. That means to say Vikram Samvat is older as compared to Sak Samvat, right? Vikram Samvat is started by King Vikramadit. Sak Samvat is started by Saka Kings. Right? I believe around Gupta period they were, but my historical knowledge can be a little bit up and down. I was not a student of history at all. I have some kings started. Okay. The 60 years in a year is a Vedic concept. Okay. Vedic Hindu concept. In other religions, right? Religions are of two types. Let's understand something. Astic and Nastic. Astic is believer. And Nastic is a non-believer. Believer in what? God. Vedas. You are a believer if you believe in Vedas. God is no concept. God is no demarcation, right? If you believe in Vedas. So who believe in Vedas? Six orthodox philosophies there that believe in Vedas. Samakya, Anyaya, Vesasik, Yoga, etc. Right? Six traditional philosophies which talks about Hinduism. You know Bhagavad Gita? Which philosophy Bhagavad Gita follow? Is it the ultimate book? Bhagavad Gita follow Pancharatra philosophy. Pancharatha philosophy is somehow Vaisheshik. Vaisheshik plus Nyaya. Right. Shankaracharya. Shankaracharya follows Pancharatha philosophy. Shankaracharya follows Yoga Darshan. Chitvirti Nirodascha. All these people who are talking about celibacy as a means to achieve Godhead. You know, you have to become celibate to be emancipated. Are following Patanjali's Yoga Sutras. Yoga is not that yoga. Other yoga. Bigger yoga. Right, because Yoga Sutra started with Athato Brahma Jigyasa. Now I want to know about God. So by the physical ac acrobatics, you will not know God. Chitta Vitti Nirodascha, controlling the natural senses of body leads you to the realization of Godhead. That is what is told by Yoga philosophy. So Sankaracharya and all these people, they are apparently following Yoga philosophy. From Yoga philosophy comes Advait. Right? Pancharatra is followed in Bhagavad Gita. This Pancharatra should be Vaisheshik. 
राइट इट शुड बी इट शुड बी वैसे फिलोसफी वैशेषिक न्याय मिक्सचर ऑफ दिस फिलोसफी राइट संख्या स्पेसिफिकली संख्या फिलोसॉफी इज सो ग्रेट अ फिलोसॉफी दैट द ऑथर ऑफ संख्या फिलोसॉफी इज कंसिडर्ड एन इनकारनेशन ऑफ विष्णु यू सी हाउ प्रोमिनेंट इट इज कंसिडर्ड एन इनकारनेशन लाइक योगा फिलोसॉफी इज मेड बाय पतंजलि पतंजलि इज कंसिडर्ड एन इनकारनेशन ऑफ स्नेक कंसिडर्ड एन इनकारनेशन ऑफ स्नेक गॉड कंसिडर्ड एन इनकारनेशन ऑफ शिवा इफ एनी फिलोसॉफी बिकम्स वेरी वेरी प्रोमिनेंट right but answers all the questions all the philosophical queries right they attribute the founder to be incarnation of god right that, that's the thing and in the philosophy there are some pramanas right how do you assert that it is true so praman upaman is there right either you have witnessed the thing or you learn from of you learn about about the thing from some authentic source so all of this orthodox philosophy believe in authentic source and that authentic source is veda right veda says something it comes from an authentic source we believe into it and ad- apart from that apan and udan and all of these things are there praman other forms of praman is there right do you have seen that for example fire how do you know that it is a fire you have seen it it matches the attribute of fire you have seen fire right or you see smoke you know there is fire right or or or, or, or you or, or you feel heat going close to something which looks like fire you know it is fire or some authentic source have told you that it is fire so it is fire no non orthodox philosophy right non believer this non orthodox philosophies are three charvak charvak is the king of non orthodox because charvak neither believes in soul neither believes in god neither believes in veda neither believes in karma Charvak believes in nothing. However, one interesting thing I will tell you: Jupiter is considered to be Charvak. Jupiter is Charvak, right? Jupiter is a pure non-believer. Seems like. So demons came to heaven, and they wanted to know what the gods are learning. So Jupiter becomes Charvak and teaches them a new philosophy. So Charvak is. Charvak is like you know Charvak philosophy also have not sustained like Sankhya of Kapil have not sustained Charvak philosophy the text from Charvak have not sustained at all it is so ancient right but the philosophy of Charvak is quite you, you see I, I cannot remember some some shlokas as a, see like Charvak is one one shloka is there ah. Uh, योगेन दत्वा पशु नत्वा यद कुरियाद करदमा तेन चेद प्राप्यते स्वर्ग नरकम केन लभ्यते राइट इफ यू आर किलिंग अ एनिमल टू डू होमा अश्वमेध ज्ञान ऑल ऑफ दैट तेन चेद प्राप्यते स्वर्ग इफ दे आर गोइंग टू हेवन नरकम केन लभ्यते देन हु इज गोइंग टू हेल्प दिस इज द फिलॉसफी ऑफ चरवाक एंड यू कैन नॉट आंसर हिम चरवाक हैम सम सम वेरी वेरी क्लियर you see charvak has some very very strong logic in his position right charvak is uh, uh, like w- one thing was there yeah, like yavat patti bhutale this shloka was there I, i cannot remember it completely so the opinion of charvak is that you should take loan and by taking that loan you should eat good food live good life because ultimately you will die who knows you will get heaven or hell or not the person will ask money from your children or not no one knows that so you take loan live a good life have fun this is the philosophy of charvak he does not believe in anything because traditional philosophy is going by this thing that if you do bad god will punish you your soul will fall soul will not get emancipation vedas forbid it it is a bad karma to do you you do bad to someone you die people do bad to your child but charvak believes in none of them right other two philosophies are buddhist and jains now they believe in soul they believe in reincarnation they believe in god they don't believe in veda they also believe in karma as well jainism is strongly rooted in karma god is replaced by buddha or tirthankar buddha is not the only god in buddhism there are many other gods as also ajitab and all of that 
right reincarnation their belief is in some form or other form the belief is there their belief is also there in soul right but they are non orthodox because they don't follow vedas that's the point now out of this buddhism does not believe in astrology however the first person to translate a sanskrit astrology book from sanskrit to any other language also buddhist and he translated it in pali irony is the point but buddhism does not believe in astrology at all buddha does not support astrology jainism strong believer in astrology jainism is a strong belief in astrology right strong astrological belief so one day jain astrology we have to do very things are there different things are there so this jain belief takes 12 era or yuga you say so what they do they take the 60 samvatsaras and they divide it into 12 eras so five samvatsar will come in one yuga okay this is the point 12 eras is important mathematical advances the jain tradition of astrology is so strong that aryabhatt is blamed to be a jain aryabhatt is blamed to be a jain it is so advanced that you know people cannot accept that such an advanced writer on mathematics and astronomy is a non jain people cannot believe it he have to be a jain right so whatever he never told me which religion he belongs to we never talked so let's leave the assumption aside now you see uh, this <laughs> vikram samvat is either 2077 or 78 and sak samvat is either 1942 or 41 now as you know that there are differentiations of 12 are happening right so for the 12 12 12 samvatsaras there will be one era and this era is very important 2077 you divide by 12 in fact 2078 you divide by 12 and if it is completely divisible that right, that means if it is a multiplication of 12 this era is very important right this era is very important and whatever changes will be there those changes will be very permanent right this point we have to understand okay So two thousand seventy-eight. Let's take this. Two thousand seventy-six. It should be in fact seventy-six. It should be. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. So seventy-eight and seventy-six. It should be. So the year two thousand seventy-six. If you see, this is Vikram Samvat, right? Vikram Samvat started by Vikramadit. Why I told you that Vara Mir was the court astrologer? Why I told you that? So use this information. नहीं भी कहता तो चल जाती बात. The point of saying was because Vara Mir is the great astrologer, right? Vikram Samvat, you have to follow. And Vara Mir is the great astrologer, right? He probably made the calendar. Because Vikramadit is not an astrologer, why he will make a calendar? So you see, year two thousand seventy six. Which was the year two thousand nineteen is completely divisible by twelve, and the time is Vikari, right? The year is Vikari. So this Vikrati, Vikari, or you say the problems, the the deformation in the other word, you say the deformation that have started in two thousand nineteen will go for next twelve years, and all sort of diseases and problems. and people having all sort of mental physical social deformation you will witness for the next twelve years right so 2019 to 
Two thousand thirty one. Very negative information I have given you. This is how people like to live in negative information. ठीक है भाई दुखी हो जाओ जाओ बिकम सैड ओके दैट्स द पॉइंट देर विल बी अयर वेन विक्रम संबत एंड सक संबत बोथ ऑफ इट विल बी डिविजल बाय ट्वेल्व बोथ विल बी डिविजल बाय ट्वेल्व एंड वेन इट हैपन्स because uh, the sum is 135 right so one year before after it will happen that both of them are divisible by 12 right one year ago vikram samvat is divisible by 12 next year sak samvat is divisible by 12 right whatever is the result of that year that will remain for next 50 100 years okay so this is the basis of this is world cycle you can say okay this is the cycle of the world Some other things I will also tell you later on, right? Once we finish this complete semester part, we go to advanced semester. Few more things I will teach you how to see the problems in the world. Now this is a part of mundane astrology, but I will be teaching you so that you can better plan things for yourself and your clients, right? This you know and you know it for everyone. For example, you say Great Depression is happening in America. People are losing their jobs. You have to note it down, right? Any American person is going to be struck by it. If you know it beforehand, you judge things accordingly, right? Because mundane astrology at the end of the day is affecting the people living at the place. So this is the importance, right? This it is it is important, I believe. So that I will cover this cycle is repeating. One point I was about to make, but I forgot that, so leave it. the year little bit more now it comes to personal astrology right you are born in a particular year that year is having a name that name is having a result we go to that result but before that years are solar lunar and jovial solar year starts with sun going into aries this is sak samvat right okay sak samvat lunar year is when the chaitra shukla pratipada is happening this is vikram samvat jovial year what is happening with people should be more concerned with jovial year right it should be more concerned with jovial year because jovial year is dependent on the transit of jupiter and jupiter is jupiter talks about humans i will not say it is jeev agar but jupiter talks about human right jupiter indicate humans being a lord of both dual rashis so in this complete thing that you see you got to understand that jupiter is not being considered though the samvatsara is being 60 is dependent on the mutual placement of jupiter and saturn that will get repeated as i told you in the starting but jupiter is not getting considered and that's a hint we'll come to it later on right these are the 60 samvatsaras right prabhav vibhav shukla pramod prajapati angira shrimukh Ma'am, I was saying that both, not both years, because the difference is one thirty-five. It have to be odd number. So you say this Vikram Samvat is completely divisible by twelve, and next Sak Samvat is completely divisible by twelve. If that happens together, then the result for this Vikram Samvat and the next Sak Samvat, whatever is the result, that result will remain permanent for next hundred years, fifty to hundred years. So just a longer time change. So the sixty samvatsar prabhav vibhav shukla pramod prajapati angira shrimuk bhav it should be yuva data ishwar bahu dhan pramati vikram vrish chitravanu subhanu taran parthiv vyay sarvajit sarvadhari virodi vikriti khar nandan vijay jay manmat durmuk hemalambi vilambi vikari shervari plav shubakrit shobakrit rodi vishosu prabhav plavang kilak somi sadharan virodagrit परिधावि प्रमादि आनंद राक्षस अनल पिंगल कालिफ सिद्धार्थी रौद्र दुर्मति दुंदुबी रुद्रोदगारी रक्ताक्षी क्रोधन इन छय 
60. In this 60, 15, 15, 15 are divided. Sorry, 20, 20, 20 are divided. So first 20 sambhasar from Prabhav to VI is ruled by Lord Brahma. Talks about creation. Next 20 Sarvajit to Prabhav is lauded by Vishnu, lauded by Vishnu. Talks about sustaining. Sattuguna is rising. Right? Brahma is Rajasguna. And last 20 from Plavang to Chai is ruled by Rudra. Tamasguna is rising. Tamasguna is rising means destruction is happening for further betterment. And Shiva is destroying so that something new can happen. So you see the Sambhatsar is Vikari. Where is Vikari coming? Vikari is coming in 33. Right? Number 33 Vikari is coming. This is ruled by Vishnu. So this is happening for sustenance. You see Corona outbreak happened and so bad things happened. But no country, no race, no religion get completely destroyed. It did not happen. Complete destruction is not happening because it is for Vishnu just creating the balance. However, if such time where the result is fixed for the next 12 years, right? Vikram Samvat is divisible by 12. Vikram Samvat divisible by 12, bad Samvatsar is coming and that Samvatsar is falling in the section of Siva, right? Between Plavang to Chai. Then it will be destructive, full destructive, right? One continent, one country, one city should be full empty. Which area will get the impact? I'll tell you. Ramiji. So how you say it's coming under Vishnu section and Shiva section? So first 20 is Brahma section, 20 to 40 is Vishnu, oh, 40 okay. to 60 is Shiva. That's 10. Okay. They have a name. Name have some meaning. We come to that. Okay. Add 23 to Saka year and divide the answer by 60. Remainder source completed number of Samvatsar for any year. Right. Samvatsar changes by year, but is based on Jupiterian movement, though it is understood that, okay, this we have understood, this, this, these two, three things we have understood, okay. So this time today, you say, right now the Shaka year is 9 and what is 6. So this Shaka year, that is 946, 9 you add 23 to it, divided by 60. Nineteen forty-six. You add twenty-three to it. You divide it by sixty. The answer is thirty-two. So thirty-two is completed. Thirty-three. Thirty-third. Sorry, divided by sixty. So we have to take the remainder. Yeah. Sixty. Blind by. 32, answer is 1920. 69, answer is 49. Right, 49 samvatsar has completed. 50th samvatsar is running. So the samvatsar should be anal, right? Sak samvatsar should be anal. Vikram samvatsar is written here, that is Krodi. Right, so because Sak samvatsar is not included, I am telling the calculation to you, okay? If you want to find the Saksamvatsar. Now, person born in Prabhav Samvatsar, right? The person will pursue religion of his caste and race as per his birth conditions, okay? The person is powerful, learned person, conferred with all sorts of amenities, have children, good, pleasurable, long life, will have materialistic happiness and abundance, enjoy harmonious relationship with public, Daring, truthful, possessed of every virtue, proficient in astrology, pious is the result. Okay, okay, general result. Prabhav means effect producing. Prabhav comes from the word Prabhavashali. So the person is a prominent person. Prabhav is a prominent person. Prominent person in which area? Prominent person in the area where Jupiter is situated in? Where the Rashi Lord of Jupiter, Dispositor of Jupiter is going. So one thing we see, you see the result of the Samvatsar will not completely apply to the native. 
right the person is told to be daring if the third house third lord is weak the daring will be decreasing right prabhav means the person is influential in all areas suddenly the person cannot be influential or because of what thing the person will be influential that should be seen with respect to the house occupied by jupiter and the house occupied by the rashi lord of jupiter and you will go by the house because generally rashi will be repeating more often as compared to house right next is vibhav vibhav glory very glorious very glorious person the native is told to be feminine having cunning nature wealthy charitable endowed with many enjoyable comforts dark complexion reddish eyes love night person duly conferred with royal honor lustful pure constantly cheerful prodigiously wealthy many relatives great learnings famous shukl shukl means white pure so the result is good clean hearted spirituality shukla samvatsar gives you spirituality the native is pure hearted calm peaceful mind modest revered by woman philanthropist but poor very lucky noble indulges in pleasure labor activities scholarly person blessed with wife and children Adult, adulterer effete liberal intelligent spiritual adulterer See, promote means happiness. Very good result. Gets pleasure from acquisition of assets. Association of woman gets pleasure from acquisition of assets and association of woman. And indulges in quarrels with siblings, friends, and enemies. Gets admired by king. Is a minister. Have pleasures. Give happiness to others. Honest, knowledgeable, radiant personality. Clever in counsel, businessman, voluble in speech. Next is Prajapati. Prajapati is the Lord of Creation. Prajapati means the Lord of Praja, right? Pati means ruler, husband. So Prajapati basically means king, right? King is Prajapati. Though the God Prajapati in the Vedic, uh, in in the Vedic world, the God Prajapati is very dishonored God, but Prajapati means means the king, right? So the person is kingly. That's the basic result. Kingly in what? Jupiter, you see, Jupiter is in the fourth house, kingly in home matters. Jupiter in the seventh house, kingly in the matters of marriage, etc., etc. Right, satisfied through serving people is a benefactor. Voluptuous, have many children, famous in foreign lands, wealthy, looks after his children at public, looks after his children and public at large, virtuous, moderate, truthful, worships gods and Brahmins. Wife will possess good virtues and conduct the natives virtuous, bounteous, rich in sons, tranquil disposition. Rich in sons mean have many children. Children are also successful in life. Angira is the name of a sage. Angira is father of Jupiter. So good Jupiterian qualities. The native is virtuous, good moral conduct, fondness for religion, Vedic fondness for religions and Vedic scriptures and traditional thoughts, adoration for guests and friends. The native is voluptuous, delightful, self-centered. Lives a long life, have many children, is rich, sagacious, experienced, compassionate. Shri Mukh, Shri Mukh is, cons uh, is related to Vishnu, right? Blessed by Goddess Lakshmi. Blessed in life. The native is blessed in life, right? So native is rich, devoted to gods, deals in metals, hypocrite, scholarly, peace-loving, gets raged easily, longs for woman, not his own. An extra medal of heirs. Honest, wealthy. Bhava. Bhava. You see, Bhav is also the name of a Karan. The first Karan, Bhav Balav Kaulav Tetilgar Manij. Bhav is good. Consider it kingly. But things don't sustain for long. Very fickle. Because it is a Char Samvat. It is a Char Karan, right? Movable Karan constantly moves. So things are fickle, though it gives the result of Raji Yoga. Yearns for doing all sort of works, fond on non-vegetarian food, brute gets great comforts through his reputation and happy life, charming personality, good qualities, fertile mind, respectful to others, ascetic, kingmaker, renowned for his wealth and strength. Why I am telling you the name of the Samvassar? Because these results, I am telling you, you can use it. Absolutely, in consultation, I don't sit with a notebook and predict the results. So my basic point, point for predicting the Samvassar result is to understand the nature of of the samvatsar by decoding the name of the samvatsar which i have found largely very useful you add it to the position of jupiter and dispositor of jupiter wherever it is going right that's the basic point if the jupiter is strong then the result of the samvatsar is highly prominent in the nature of the native otherwise not also it's not necessary that the nature of samvatsar will be prominent in every person's life it depends on how the jupiter is yuva yuva means young 
so young means the person will live disusefully will be loved by many women adored by many many women or men people of opposite gender basically right and the person is you see like the young person person is very energetic and all sort of things aggrieved due to his wife now this aggrieved due to his wife is not in an opposite sense it is like you know lustily inclined towards his wife should be the interpretation because of the name right afraid of water happy happy in life though troubled by various diseases but still happy gets high reputation righteous qualities long life intelligent generous covetous fickle minded ill tempered little liable to illness acquainted with the healing art now both things are there troubled by various sickness but little liable to illness practically i have seen these people suffer from health issues health issues which are not very detrimental as such right so it's not an health issue which can cause a death but is an health issue for example you say headache you don't die from headache so such problems right these problems are constant in the life of the native right but it is not disease producing that producing dhatru the native is rich beautiful gentle victorious protects the poor charming personality devoted to the study of vedas addicted to others wives crafty lawyer dhatru metallurgist is an interpretation that you should take person makes very great things using metals etc next samvasar is ishwar ishwar means godly godly lordly king like gives rajya the native is wealthy fond of carnal pleasure pursues animal husbandry religious person skillful in many jobs reverses his perceptors charming personality easily provoked intelligent judicious practical prosperous steady minded good judge of merit bahu dhan means many resources huge assets rich person scholar of vedas exponent of art and music modest person fond of drinks indulges in benevolent activities for benefit of public rich generous disposition rich merchant beneficent voluptuous pramathi pramathi is someone who is joking kind hearted light hearted and but because of this joking nature and kind heartedness he is wasting his time not doing something significant and losing his resources so quite problematic Flirts with others, woman, asserts others' wealth, inclined to evil practices, gambler, commands an army, minister of king, earnest worshipper of Lord Shiva, blessed scholar of ancient treatises, predisposed to amassing things, cruel, addicted to evil, hot-tempered, friendliness, living in comforts, earnest worshipper of Lord Shiva. Generally, they are not, but if they are earnest worshipper of Lord Shiva, then the bad result is curtailed. If a deity is mentioned, you worship that deity is better for you if you are born in the samvatsa. Vikrami, Vikrami means Valerius. So the person is very valorous, but the result of valorous is the person does not get anything very simply. You have to do hard work for it. Native is without any addiction, glorified, have control over senses, brave, learned, runs over others' kingdom, right? But snatches the money, property, resources of others. Atrocious and crude, does daring things, is wealthy, valiant, commands an army. Sometime you will see contradictory result. It is told rich and poor both. So Jupiter is powerful, rich. Jupiter is weak, poor. I have written both results because it highly depends on Jupiter. Brisha or Vishu? Brisha, Brisha means a bull, and bull in Hinduism traditionally talks about dharma. So it is told the dharma is a bull, and bull is ridden by Shiva. So Shiva is the god of dharma. You see, when someone is having marriage-related problem, traditionally we say worship Shiva. Why? Solo somvar vrat woman do this gauri vratam woman do. But why Shiva should be worshipped for marriage? Shiva, his first wife died. Parvati is the second wife. From that wife, they are having two children. Kartik does not live with them. So it does not seem to be a very happy couple, but why worship Shiva? Because Shiva is the uplifter of dharma, right? Shiva is on the bull. Dharma is a bull. So you want your dharma towards your wife, dharma towards your children to be fulfilled, sustained, saved. Shiva will come to the rescue because Shiva is auspicious. Shiva is benefit beneficent. South India marriages told us kalyanam, that is beneficence, right? So that's why. And most importantly, you see Shiva family. Shiva is on a bull. Devi is on a tiger, inimical to each other. That Kartikeya is on a peacock. Ganesha is on a mouse. Mouse is eaten by snake. Snake is eaten by peacock. 
So these inimical animals sit peacefully with Shiva. Shiva is a person having a lot of money. He is not, you know, like show, showing off that money. And his wife, very beautiful woman, Parvati. Parvati is very beautiful, right? In the, Kuber first saw Parvati and he was so enchanted with Parvati that he wanted to marry. Parvati is very beautiful. But only because she loves her husband. She is the daughter of the king of Himalayas. Right? But because of her devotion to her husband, she lives in the you know, in, in that arid condition in which Shiva is living, right? In a very bad condition. So 100% dedication, devotion to husband is exemplified by Parvati. Dedication, devotion to wife is exemplified by Shiva. Right? And forces of different nature living peacefully together is exemplified by the complete Shiva family. So that's the particular reason when there is some lack in the family, marriage not happening, childbirth not happening, etc., etc., the family of Shiva is the best go-to, best remedy, you say. So Jyotirling, you can visit and other things you can do. That's the particular reason. Right. Now, one thing is there. In Tantra, sometimes Shiva is the teacher, Parvati is the student. Sometimes Parvati is the teacher, Shiva is the student. In many stories, Parvati stops Shiva from doing many things and Shiva follows that. So if someone says that you should not listen to your wife, listening to wife is handpacked, etc., etc., woman should not say things, the traditional orthodox people, whatever they think, Shiva is extremely opposite to what they are doing. So probably they are bigger than Shiva, only they know. But we follow the God. Right? So character of God exemplifies the behavior that one should do. That is the purpose of Puranas, right? See, Vedas were written. It had knowledge, very complex, very terse. And mixed with what is to be done and what is to be understood. This is segregated in Brahmanas, Aranyakas and Upanishads. Upanishads have knowledge. Brahmanas have procedure. Aranyakas is a mix of it. But still, foolish people were not able to understand. Understanding Upanishad, you think it is easy, very difficult. So then Purana is written. That have the stories also. And that have procedures also. Procedure is simple. Asumed Yagya, you cannot do a small fasting. You can do that fasting is written in Puranas. But the prime purpose of Purana is you understand the story of gods. And take the point that the character of God, the behavior of God is the behavior that should be your idol. That is what you should do. So that's why the story of Puranas comes with all the implications, right? This person did this because of this. He suffered this. So it has given you a complete peep into if you do this, this will be the result. If the result is bad, don't do it. That's the point, right? That's the point. Vedas will never tell you that if you worship Shiva, this will happen, that will happen. You go to Puranas, you will see a person is a very bad person, but because he have taken the name of Shiva, he gets emancipation. So the purpose is no matter whatever you are doing, if you are taking the name of God, you can get emancipation. That's the point. I was talking about bull. I digressed from the topic. So bull stands on the four legs in Krit Yuga, three legs in the next Yuga, two legs in Dwapar Yuga, only with one leg in Kali Yuga. So Vrisha Samvatsar is a follower of Dharma tries to follow his dharma. So a person highly inclined towards dharma, dedicated, devoted, attached towards his family and children. And because in Kali Yuga, dharma is standing on one leg only, in Kali Yuga, they generally face difficulties. Though they try to follow their dharma, but people in their family are inimically disposed towards each other, which lands them into contradictions, problems. Right. The native have a fat belly, thick feet, small hands, proud of his family members, undertakes the nourishment of his family members, accomplished wealth, religious sentiments, great deal of assets, blemishing and culpable acts, self-acutating person in company of corrupt, immor corrupt, immoral and indigent people, more than one wife, lives in an inactive and sluggish life, pauper, lost to all senses of shame and engaged in doing what is wrong. Chitra Bhanu, Bhanu is the name of son. Right. Chitra means varied, various forms of sun. So Chitra Banu <coughs> goes with how the life of sun is. So generally the person is attached to his wife and children, but the wife and children and other family members don't behave well with the native. Almost cheating the native or doing bad to the native is the thing. Another thing is native is generally tirelessly working throughout his life, but the result that he get is not 
good as compared to the level of hard work that he puts into his day to day activities. There's a good tip in, in here, right? The native is told to be brilliant, self esteemed, highly opinionated, great devotee, proficient in many fields of learning, rich and good in oration. The person have energy and beauty as per the Lord of the day. This tip is in between that the bodily features and the energy of the person, feminine energy, male energy, enthusiastic, sattvic, rajasic, tamasic, this comes from the Lord of the day. Right? If the Lord of the day is powerful, person is having high energy, the person is beautiful, attractive, charming, etc. And if the day Lord is weak, person have low energy, low energy also translates into short life. We talked about it. That the person is also non-beautiful, non-attractive and all sort of things. So Bhano is good. When it's Sanskrit, I, I tell you basic Sanskrit, right? Whenever Su is added, you consider it's good. Right? So any, any Su means, Su comes from the word Sundar, Sundar means beautiful. So whenever Su is added in any Sanskrit word, it translates to beautiful. The result is beautiful, good. So Subhano is good. Carries out promising deeds, benefited from both friends and foes, stores a variety of articles, tawny eyes, brown hair, fair skin, cunning, crafty, lavish. Not a good person by behavior. Because the name have Banu. Banu is son. So behavior can be a little bit of cruel, punishing towards people. That's the reason. The person is venicious, intelligent, humble and cheerful, have learning, good conduct, virtue and characteristics of his tribe and race. Right. Next is Taran. Taran is someone who can uplift you from the miseries. Right. So the person is successful in middle ages. Start of the life is difficult. Middle life progress is difficult. Around 35 to 45, great change happens in life. Then life becomes good. The native is loved by all, reposes faith in all religions, honored and rewarded with wealth by kings. The native is vicious, unjust, immoral, deprived, utterly bad and dissolute but have much wealth, strength, and is a philosopher. The next is Parthiv. Parthiv means made out of earth. So the person is very compassionate. If Jupiter and the Lord of Jupiter is good, it gives Rajyog also, right? From Parthiv, that comes from Prithvi. Earth also comes Prithvipati. That is the ruler of earth. So Rajyog is there provided the fact Jupiter is good. The native is capable of creating and destroying work like Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva provides comfort to others, benefactor and a religious person. Command, commended by royalty, tall, possessing charming features, disposed to by the scriptures, is a king unequaled for his prosperity and happiness. Next, some of Vyaya. Vyaya means expenditure. See, everyone does expenditure. Twelfth house is powerful, twelfth lord is afflicted, twelfth house is more powerful than the Lagna lord, then two things happen. First of all, see, you purchase a car, you think that I will have this car, I will go to office, I will have fun. But if you purchase the car and the purpose is not fulfilled, expenditure have happened. So whatever is the intention of the person be behind doing anything that I am doing this thing for this purpose, that purpose is not fulfilled, point one. Secondarily, suppose the person is doing a job and he thinks that I am not getting rewarded, I am not getting a promotion, my boss is planning against me, plotting against me, blah, blah, blah. He leaves the job. Thinking that I will get a better job and uh, I will have fun in life, etc. Now he does not get a better job for 10, 20 years. And he have left the job. He have to compromise for a job which have more pressure on him and less salary. So now he have lost the opportunity. After 10, 15 years, he can get a better job, but then time have passed by, right? So the loss of time have happened. This is loss. So when 12th house is very afflicted, 12th lord is very afflicted, 12th lord is afflicting the ascendant particularly, 12th lord is afflicting the ascendant, ascendant lord. Then I have seen person get very good spouse, very good partner, very good opportunities in life. But because of contradiction, dilemma, confusion, they lose it. And then they never gain that good thing ever again in life. Right. So if you are having a very prominent 12th house, 12th Lord, 12th Lord connected to ascendant, etc. Opportunity come to you, grab it, misuse it, molest it, do whatever, but don't leave it. Because you think something better is coming for you. Maybe it is coming for people, not for you. So let's understand about it. Right. If you have an opportunity, use it. 
right? For you, Daman is the word from Brahma, right? Suppress it. Because you will get it again is very dubious. The native is a benefactor given to material pleasures, chiefly involved in public welfare, remains happy, have a host of friends, disposed to gambling and drinking, he squanders away his wealth on women and other lascivious activities given to stealing and not a good person, lustful, cowardly, immoral, staking his property in gambling and addicted to wickedness. Losing property in gambling, alcoholism and all of these things is told because we have means expenditure. That's a normal interpretation of expenditure that you will take. Right? But the greater implication of expenditure is you lose something that you can never gain again. That's the real loss. Otherwise, money though you lose money, you earn money again, money is nothing. Loss of money is no loss. Sarvajit means winner over everything. But as it happens with Jayatithis, right? To win, you have to go in a war. So difficulty is there, eventually winning is there. Native wins over enemies, devotee of Lord Vishnu, performs virtuous deeds, short built, dark complexion, stout body, devoted to achieving his objects and goal. Well versed in Vedant. Vedant is Upanishads are called Vedant. So, no, so knowledge, intelligence, philosophy related aspect of spirituality, this person has. The native is eloquent, possessed of great physical strength, versed in sacred scriptures, virtuous, conversant with the real nature of all things. Sarvadhari, one having all, is a person very much under the pressure of a lot of responsibilities, expectations. Very problematic. Beloved of parents, devoted to preceptor, rich, brave, full-hearted, dignified person, have host of servants given to carnal pleasures, wealthy, obsessed with sweet food, well-to-do in life, versed in arts, liked by king. Virodhi means the person who is, you know, People are against this person, right? Or this person is against good things. So indicates a prominently bad nature. The native eats non-vegetarian food, disposed to religion, pleasant appearance, respected by people, squabbles with his family members, lewdly interested in wives of others, enmity with everyone, persuasive speaker, roams in foreign countries, afflicted, delighted in company of wicked, addicted to sinful deeds, cruel. Vikriti. The Samvatsar. Vikriti means deformation. So major health problems for the native or mental, physical, social deformation is there. The native is told to be artist of fine arts, skilled in dancing and music, firm conviction, benefactor, famous, given to enjoying pleasures, immoral conduct, lean physique, darker complexion, and large limbs, faces penury, indigence, dilated person, full of guile, lovesick, devoting his mind to magic formulations and their practical application in ceremonies. Khar means very bad, death producing. Khar is death producing. Comes from the word khal, that means bad person. So earns wealth through violence and inculcative friendship with people. Takes care of his family, hyperactive person, lewd, insolent, immodest. Works for others at their terms, long life, but lives in filthy conditions, unattractive, worthless, depressed in speech, sinful, mischievous. Nandan comes from the word enjoying. So person have a life where he is enjoying. The native is ever delightful, looks after the welfare of his family, owned by kings, initiates many schemes for the benefit of poor people, digs wells and tanks for the beneficence of the world, provides meal to poor people, delights everybody, enjoys the favor of kings, conversant with meaning of sacred hymns. Vijay means victorious, very good. Charming features, native is famous, happiness is having happiness, drains benefit from his efforts, stages victory over his enemies, native is virtuous, abounds in real excellence. Jaya once again means victorious. Victory does not come without struggle. So struggle is there. Eventually the native is victorious. Right? Begets profit from beautiful damsels, enemies and from friends, proficient businessmen, learned and dignified person, glorifies others. Well versed in many ancient texts, either king or king-like. Manmat is a word used for elephant. It means extremely lusty. High lust is indicated by manmat, great desire. It is highly intelligent, greedy and wealthy, extremely ruthless, deep involved in carnal pleasures, immensely powerful person, eloquent speaker, craving for sensual enjoyment, victorious over enemies. Durmukh, one having a bad face, ugly to look at. The activities of the native can also be ugly, not good. So that is the result. The native has strict, strict morals, solaced mind, expert worker, adored at all places due to his good qualities and despite being philanthropist. Gets into controversies, foul-mouthed wife, decideful, depraved, sinful, immodest, base wife. Wife means spouse. 
Spouse is disposed to immoral acts, incapable of producing progeny, crooked mouth, hands and feet, void of virtue and wealth, immoral. The result of Durmukh, no matter how bad it is, if Jupiter and Rashi, Lord of Jupiter, is well placed, the result will turn positive. The positive result is also written. Himalamb. The person is successful after initial difficulties. Himalamb. The native is a miser, having many gemstones and metals, famous, very rich. Have valued items of great worth, abundant greenery and cattle, great deal of happiness, good children, ill-natured, ardently pursues agriculture and other operations. Willem, things are delayed. Sometimes denied also if Jupiter is not good. The native is lazy, diseased and aggrieved, aggrieved person, possesses a large, large family, narrow-minded, suffers from phlegmatic disorders, so self-centered, deceitful, evil person. The native is prosperous, resorted by Brahmin community, disinterestingly disinterestedly benevolent. But the native is good to others, but not by choice. Vikari, once again, problem producing. Suffers blood-related disorders, possesses red eyes, bilious nature, loves to live in forest, poor person, imprudent, self-centered, ill-natured, unprincipled, deceitful, sickly, cowardly, indigent, irresolute, ignoble. Right. Salvari Samvatsar, it is good. Salvari is good, person is Connected to king, not king, connected to king, high position. A scholar of Vedic Shastras, great reverence to gods and Brahmins, fond of sweet food, brave, gets involved in trading business, disdainful towards his friends, tall and lean body with lazy eyes, exceedingly wealthy, have enjoyment in life, native, cheerful, honest, well behaved. Love means about. So, native is able to live, right? Not in a very bad condition, but neither in a very great Raja. The native is fond of sleep, given to enjoying pleasures as an entrepreneur, renowned, revered by his people, vacillating and informed mind, lustful, short height, tranquil, generous, compassionate, brave, devoted to his own duties. Subhagrath is the one who is doing good for the complete world, beneficially disposed towards the world, very good person. Well versed in his work, reputed, religious, ascetic, takes care of his people, proficient in his dealings, highly fortunate, benefactor to others, learned and noble, have good longevity, years for Yearns for opulence and children. Childbirth is difficult and yearns for children. He is not having children easily. Dupe of woman, learned, handsome, intelligent. Shoban or Shobhakrit is something which is very beautiful. Shoban. Native have a noble mind, is peace-loving, brave, donor, does not live long, enjoy fullest results in life, very accomplished person, good-looking, kind, noble, lusty nature, wise, possessed of royal virtues, fond of learning pursuits. Krodi means angry. The current year is Krodi. So this year you see anger is going to increase a lot. People getting angry from each other, doing things to disturb each other, very prominent. <coughs> the native have high temper, the native is brave, is a scientist, stocks medication, stocks skill of others, yellow eyes, rich like a king, slow gait, Lesciviously inclined towards other women, ruins others, medical practitioner, adulterer, addicted to evil ways, crafty, angry. Viswavashu. Viswavashu is someone who disturbs the complete world at a large stage. Decorated by sceptre of king with weapon, staff, flag, etc., chief minister, position in life, suggestious, blissful person, noble, benevolent, tidy, disposition, faces debts, goes for heavy borrowing, gets contagious diseases, high sense of humor, fond of comic. And means admiration for those rich in moral wealth. Prabhav means someone who is very influential. So native is rich, influential, famous. Scared of cold, timid, irreligious, causes injuries to others, hankers after the wives of other men, deceitful, friendly to his siblings, not well off, lacks resources, ruins his family. Plavang is a person whose start is humble, progress is slow. But in middle ages, he gets some very good benefits. You say good salary, high paying job, lottery, etc. Which catapults him to great success. Which if Jupiter is good, he can maintain. Otherwise, he can lose all of it and come back to the original situation from where he started. The native have terrifying looks given to stealing. Gets immense properties. Leader of public follows yoga. Volatile and unethical works he will commit. Does not follow family tradition. Lustful, fond of relatives. Envincing a partiality for children. And is slow witted. Keelak. Disturbing, right? Keelak means 100% ability of the person is not used, right? So the person is, you said, disinterested, cannot realize his capacity to the fullest, cannot do anything, giving his 100%, right? Disturbed, constantly disturbed. 
The native is an artist, have a lot of self-esteem, favorite of Brahmins, devoted to parents, voluptuous disposition, pitiless attitude, intense feeling of dehydration, and easy sensation occasioned by hunger, devoted in divine worship, exceedingly fortunate, valiant. Soumya is a very good-natured person. He is pious, courteous, balanced mind, expert in work, dignified, victorious person, serves the meek, enjoys good deeds, learned person, is a spendthrift, extends his hospitality to Brahmins and guests, undergoes atonement to amend his sins, tranquil, universally popular, exceedingly wealthy for a moment. Sadharan, Sadharan means normal, so normal life. Native is enterprising, contented with little, engrossed in religious matters, virtuous, contented, lives abroad, easily provoked, versed in various branches of learning, sound, and understanding. Virodhkrit is the one who opposes other people who are trying to do good. Nuisance creator. He is against his sibling, feels delighted in one moment and angry in another moment. Vanderlust, enmity with everyone, even with parents, serves his clan, credulous, ill-tempered, indigent vanderer. So the native is against his parents, but eventually does what his parents want him to do. Paridhavi is attacker, right? The one who tries to attack others, misuse others and all sort of things. The native is having low intelligence, is lethargic, moves in foreign lands, devoted to gods and religious places, scholarly, well versed in many arts, enterprising, benevolent disposition, ill-behaved, harsh in speech, possessed of wealth. Pramadi, mental affliction. Pramad is insanity. So Pramadi, mentally afflicted person, worships Lord Shiva, devoted to virtuous deeds, hostile to siblings, contemptuous towards family, intelligent person, bent for wicked deeds, affectionate to his people, intelligent, strange, his relatives, longs for woman, not his own. Anand means enjoyment, the native is full of happiness, reverses his guests, contented with relatives, pecuniary gains, more than one spouse, sons and many friends, said Saves happiness with others, solves problems, joyous temperament, devoted to study of traditional doctrines and sacred scriptures, acquainted with real nature of things. Rakshas, Rakshas means demon. You look at the person, you think of your protection as Rakshas. The native is non-vegetarian, violent, is into alcohol, indulged in aimless and sinful acts, deeply involved in ungracious acts, unmindful of good and bad, thankless, religious-minded, gets material success due to religious favors. Sinful, vain talk, injures the victorious. Anal, anal means fire. So Jupiter is good, the native is very successful, high position. Jupiter is not good, then the native cannot make much progress in life. Native have many children and friends, native is greedy, quarrelsome, faces losses and sorrow and grief, gets assets through business, large family, pious, donor, endowed with many liberal virtues, tranquil, well-behaved. Pingal means yellow. Pingal is also a word used for owl. Also indicates bad health is there, but the person is rich. So the native is diseased, bilious, have many conveniences and vehicles, hardworking but unable to get benefit, dark complexion, crooked hair, stony eyes, unsavory words, extremist, impatient, saint with mind under control, engages in penance. Spirituality is a good virtue for the person. Kala Yukta is the one who is having the greatest, highest result of Kali Yuga. Unintelligent, short life, ungrateful, etc. Expert in agriculture and economics, stocks, oils, and utensils, undertakes trading activities, great support to other people, disciplined eater, gets many ailments, aimless stock, low intelligence, lacks prosperity, is an astrologer. Fortunate, gets enjoyment, does works of beneficence. Siddharthi is good. Siddharthi means whatever he will do, he will be successful in that. A scholar of Vedic text and scriptures, clean heart, sober nature, young looks, get respected from kings, is a poet, gets supernatural, mystical powers, fond of pleasurable things and music, famous, benevolent, big-hearted, good-looking, contented, gets high position and authority in government, successful in undertakings, reverent towards the spiritual preceptors and gods, the native is intelligent. Rautra means fierce. So the native is very fierce, punishing towards his own people and the nature is punishing towards him. Native is thief, restless, obstinate person, asserts wealth of others, performs blemished deeds, is outrageous, spouse, wicked person, backbiter, short longevity, is a rake, perverse, proud, and wicked. Durmati. Durmati is the one whose mind is inclined towards doing bad things, bad things to family and others. Native is evil-minded, sinful content, association of wicked people, ready for violence, foolishness, sinful, lusty, arrogant, thrifty, lustful, diluted, distressed by afflictions, base-minded. Dundubi is a musical instrument. 
the person is given much to enjoyment in life the person is musical exponent mantric into sculpture and medicine have all good qualities over zealous luxury vehicle collection he will have he will also have a large army big thighs big belly big arms and will lead a happy life big head also big head also means intelligent for that matter rudrodhari health related issues very prominent suffers vata and pitta diseases kapha and vata humor is there gives false evidences lewd person reprehensive nature performs illegal activities prone to weapon injuries weak body wise truthful happy rich raktakshi means the one who is very angry frustrated and because of this anger and frustration good things is not happening in his life will desert his country suffers loss of wealth incurs reverses in all his ventures keeps a woman without marrying her i elements weak eyesight have opinion different from the established ones decidedful lewd tranquil mind fond of relatives extremely fortunate amiable prodan once again mean angry short tempered person who destroys himself because of short temper so the native is ill tempered angry on others ferocious goes atonement to redeem his sins ignoble evil decidedful pursues metallurgical trades addicted to evil ways hates his relatives devoted to brigandage chaya means decreasing The native is quarrelsome in his family itself, fond of wine and women, unmindful of religion and sacred sentiments. Remains sick since birth. Serves like bonded labor. Spends wealth in short span of time. Unkind, ill-disposed to righteous deeds. Virtuous, cheerful, handsome. Endowed with high sense of honor. Exempt from foes and enemies. Foes and elements. Okay. Sixty some verses we have covered. Just a tip. before we proceed further because some was the result i have told you result for being born in different yogas and karnas we did not cover detailed result like this we will cover and weekday result also we will cover we will cover in today's class and next class or i will rather give you the pdf don't worry but the point is that the result is uh, like krodhan and raktakshi whatever result i have read huge results are there apparently all of that will happen in horoscope in practice see if i have to teach you the result of samvatsaras that is one point and a 5 5 samvatsara per class i can teach you result will be detailed and you know one hour class i can do that is all okay practice wise these results right uh, the detailed results does not uh, fructify as it is so the approach is you will read the horoscope whatever is indicated in horoscope that result you will predict as per the name of samvatsar name of yoga some special results will come for example krodhan krodhi indicates an angry person so in your complete analysis because the person is born in krodhan or krodhi here you will say that this person is very angry short tempered even if the person is outwardly not angry but the person is given to such things that someone will say him something he will get greatly upset and will never talk to that person kind of attitude he will have so when you interpret the horoscope this nature of the person you will keep in the back of your mind and will do interpretation accordingly okay now coming to the point some advanced samvatsar normal samvatsar you learned okay what we do with normal samvatsar nothing 